The training today was delivered on the latest version of Office 365 as of the date of this recording. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the concatenate function as well as flash fill. The concatenate function is, is pretty simple to use, but uh, it can help you in cosmetics and looking at your data. Uh, a couple examples we're going to look at. We'll flip over here to our page where I have some data set up. And essentially, I've just got a list of names as well as their age. For the sake of this example, we'll say that uh, this is a subset of data from a spreadsheet that we use. Maybe we work at a daycare and we're just tracking the names and age of some of the children that we take care of. You know, one of the main things I see about, about this data is that the names of the children, their first, middle, and last names are all in separate cells. And if you're doing some kind of reporting, you know, that might be fine. But cosmetically, maybe I would rather just see John Smith, or maybe I'd rather see Smith, John, and for whatever report I'm trying to produce, or just so that it's pleasing, you know, to the way I like it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the concatenate formula, and it's going to allow us to join all these names together for each child into one cell. So the first thing we're going to do, just like any other function, we're going to type equal sign, and cat, and you'll notice that uh, a little box pops up that allows you, or it found two functions that match the spelling that you've typed in. And cat is basically the same thing as concatenate, it's just for legacy versions of Excel, so we always want to use uh, the latest one, which is concatenate. And all it really wants to know is what text do you want, uh, which is text one, which is the first cell that you want to add to the formula and in this case we're going to say uh, we want it first name last name we're going to so we're going to pick john and the next thing you have to do just like any other formula you've got to put a comma which is your argument separator and then next we want to put the second word which is his last name so we're going to click on d4 which is uh, john smith's last name and we're going to press enter Okay, so as you can see, it concatenated John and Smith to make John Smith, but it's kind of ugly because there's no space between John and Smith. So to take care of that, what we're going to do, after the first comma, we're going to go in and we're going to put a space right there. And the way we do that, if I just hit a space right here, it's either going to give me an error or it's just not going to work. But uh, whenever we want to insert our own text and a space is considered a piece of the text, we're going to put a quote, a space, a quote, and another comma, because this space is an argument um, in the data, and then we're going to press enter. So now you see that we've got John Smith. If I wanted to double click uh, when I get the crosshairs over this uh, period in the bottom right corner of that cell, we could fill that down, or we could just grab that period and drag it down. And you'll see that it'll copy that formula uh, all the way down your data set. Well, you know, maybe we want to add the middle name. So if we want to do that uh, after the first space, we can click up here in the formula bar and we can put a middle name in the formula with a comma, another quote, space, and quote, and then another comma to separate each one of your variables, or your arguments rather. And now we've got his full name. Maybe we want to add the age to the end of it. So in this case, I'm going to go to the last argument, which is the last name. I'm going to put a comma. I'm going to put a quote. I'm going to put a space, and maybe I want a, a hyphen or a dash in a space, and another comma, and we can put the H. So now we see that John is 6, and Larry is 12, and so forth. Uh, most of the time, you're just going to do these kind of things just because it makes them uh, more visual, um, or possibly you want to sort by one column, 
Uh, but most of the time when you do stuff like this, it's, it's mainly because you just don't like the way it looks. Or maybe you imported this data from some other source um, and you just had to do some manipulation. I use this a lot when building pivot tables because when you use a pivot table, whatever you put in the bottom left-hand corner or the left margin of your data on the pivot table, it sorts automatically by alphabetical order. And maybe I'm trying to sort by four or five different things and by concatenating four or five different columns together, I can force the pivot table to sort things the way I want to sort them uh, without physically having to do that by hand. So this is the way that concatenate works. There's another feature called flash fill. And before you do this, I believe this is a pretty new feature. I think it only works on the, the last two or three major releases of Excel. But if you go to file and then go down to account options and then go to advanced under edit options, editing options, if you look down here, there's a checkbox that says enable autocomplete for sale values. You need to make sure that's turned on. And then you also need to make sure that automatically flash fill is turned on. And if it's not, check those boxes and hit OK. And what this will allow you to do is say, for example, I'm just going to insert a column here. We're going to call it new name. So let's say this is John William Smith. Maybe I wanted it to say John W. Smith, and I hit enter. And then the next one, I put Larry. And you'll notice that when I start typing that, Excel notices a pattern of what we did before. And it's going to apply that pattern all the way down. So if I hit enter, it'll flash fill all those names down. So let's take that a step further. Let's say we wanted Smith comma John. And in the next cell, we type Jones. Same thing happened again, um, and it'll fill that down for you. Uh, you need to be careful. If you have a space in between your records, it might kind of jack this up a little bit. Uh, so you want to kind of take care of that. But outside of that, that's pretty much it with concatenate and flash fill. We hope you enjoyed today's training. If you did, uh, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications for new training as they're released. Thanks, guys.